Hello, hello everyone, hello. I'm back with another makeup tutorial sort of thing where I'm just gonna sit here and do my makeup. Um, I wanted to do a like Christmassy look, something that's not super crazy, uh, like sort of a simple, practical, fast to do look. So that's the picture I'm basing it on. I'm gonna start with the NYX First Base Primer Spray because I'm super lazy and spreading primer around with my the hands or brush entirely is a pain. Okay, so mm, let's see, what do I do first? Uh, probably my brows. In this picture, um, she's got like pretty natural looking brows, so I'm just gonna do those really quick. My brows are not quite so natural. <laughs> or well, I have a little more brow than she does it looks like, so I'll just comb these out. I mean, I don't know. Nobody really needs makeup, in my opinion. It's just fun. It's like art at this point. Um, I like doing particular looks. Somewhere in here, I have a little. Do I have it? I might not. Mm, I might put that away somewhere. All right, so we're gonna use the Profusion Brows Two Brow Makeup Kit. This is a bra from Me Undies. in a constellation pattern. And I'm just gonna put like a little gel on, basically, like a little wax. Oh no, I don't have that. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a little wax on my brow, sort of make it look like natural spread out eyebrows. Do I get back aches? No, I do not. I've never really understood that complaint. I don't carry them around with my back. I carry them around with my core, the same as the rest of my torso and upper body. Um, <laughs> I don't feel them or notice them unless I am doing yoga or in a particularly unusual position lying down where they uh, end up hitting me in the face. <laughs> Overall, they are pretty, um, a lot of the time I don't even think about them because they're just hanging out normal. I had big boobs before I lost weight and had surgery and stuff though. Oops, I forgot. I'm, just not, I'm not supposed to say that word. It's illegal. Um... Yeah, I'm not gonna do any powder or anything. I'm just gonna kind of leave it like that, combed out with some wax. And I'm gonna put some brow light from that palette just like right underneath. Hello. Okay, we'll just do that right there. Oops, it's on my brow. Well, hard to do this using the Yes, I stand up straight. I don't sit up straight when I'm at my desk. I hunch over like a tiny goblin, so that caused some that caused some back problems, but that wasn't really related to the rest of my shape. Um, her skin is looking... Actually, you know what? I'll do the eyes next, because that'll be easier. I am probably not moving to California. I was looking into it. It's hella pricey. And the spaces are so small. And uh, I have three dogs, and nobody wants to rent to people with three dogs, which is a real pain in the butt. Okay, I'm putting on... This is Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer by Wet n Wild. I'll just make stuff. Hey, Lil. Stick. Um, now this girl looks like she is wearing black eyeliner and then maybe gold eyeliner or gold eyeshadow. Possibly and gold eyeshadow. I have somewhere in here. Do I have that still? I must have packed that other box. Um, I have a liquid liner though. Actually, I might have more than one, but we'll use this one. Okay, this is. Dude, I like special ordered this because I used to own it and I used mine up and I couldn't find it anywhere. And thirty three. Uh, this is Palladio Liquid Black Eyeliner. It is like a felt tip. It is the best liquid eyeliner, and it is very wet, so you have to be careful not to smudge it. Um, looks like she's got about a half one there. Oh man, I've never done this without a regular mirror. Do I have a mirror? I don't think I even have one. Uh, maybe in the Supernatural palette. Hang on. <laughs> Doing eyeliner without a regular mirror is really hard. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this one. 
Luckily, I do not care what blokes think. What I do is for me. I like doing makeup, it's fun. Okay, looks like she's got about a half wing thing going on. So, that's what we'll do. But yeah, this Play Doh eyeliner is bomb. I've used it for so many years. I initially found it like when I was a teenager, and I love it so much. I've bought it so many times. Highly recommend if you can find it anywhere. Watch it just get thicker and thicker as I try to fix it. I suck at drawing wings. All right, we'll let that dry a second before we try the other side. Dude. <clears throat> I have n not dated a much younger guy. I know there's a couple girls that uh, I have mutual follows with who watch, and there's one person I know in particular who watches me for my makeup tutorials. Um, I don't know how they got here, but uh, yeah. Not a fan of milk, I don't really like it. I do like chocolate milk, but I love eggnog. I already had a whole bunch and I will probably not have any more. <laughs> that dry so that it doesn't go anywhere. I do have milk. I mean, I put it on cereal. I'm not a monster. I am. I grew up in a house that didn't put milk on cereal, so I thought it was gross for like the longest time. I do not, uh, even now I still only eat it on like specific cereals. Like I'll put it on like honey bunches of oats and stuff. I mean, I've been with my husband since high school. <laughs> he is younger than me, but only by about like a year and a half. Um, so, all right, let's try doing the other side. It's even harder because I'm ready. This is gonna look ridiculous. What did I put in cereal? Nothing, I ate it all dry. I would just eat an entire box of Honey Smacks with no topping. <laughs> but, I don't know. Especially in America, this is weird to other countries because I'm pretty sure most other places do not even refrigerate their milk because we use different pasteurization methods. Um, American milk, the hormones in it, can cause girls to hit puberty a little earlier than they would otherwise. Very odd. It also does make you grow a little taller. Probably the reason I'm so short is because I hated milk. There you have it. That's why I'm only five foot three. I like to eat cereal and ice cream. Depends on the cereal. Like Reese's Puffs is really good for that um, sort of thing, in my opinion. But like, I wouldn't put Lucky Charms because I hate it when the little marshmallows get cold. Well, I was a liar when I said this was a simple look. Jesus. All right. This is a big old wing. I don't want to make that any worse, so I'll fix that in a minute with some powder. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Sorry, I'm going to scroll back up. Uh, he is ecstatic. He tried to convince me for a long time to do this, so... Welcome to Instagram. I've been here a while. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Coke milk. Soda milk. Gross. I can't stand that. I've met several people who drink it, and I think they are all insane. But then again, I enjoy egg creams, which are seltzer and chocolate milk, so probably about the same level of weirdness. That came out approximately even. Uh, let's do a quick, I'm gonna use the, I got this, I talk about this one all the time, I use it so much. It's the Supernatural Join the Hunt palette from Hot Topic and they have a black color in here called Jefferson Starship, so it's just like the best black for doing eyeliner go-overs. So I'm gonna grab like a little scooch brush. Where are they all? Just like a little angled brush. Fruit punch and milk. Ooh, I don't know about that. I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> he definitely is. Okay, so I'm just going to tap over this with a little bit of the powder from this palette to help it um, sort of stay in place and stop looking all crazy. I did the wing way too big on the left side. Lol, it's so hard. I wish I was ambidextrous. I am at some things too, so it's like really annoying. Like when I played sports, I used to hit stuff lefty and stuff. <sighs> Hello there. Okay. Um, so the next thing she's got is like a lot of gold stuff going on. And I have like a flat out gold palette somewhere. Let me find that. There it is. This is the Shayna B. Miami palette, which I got, like, right before I went to Miami for the first time. Um, but the colors in here are crazy. There's a little mirror in there as well. Um, they are so shiny, and I think that's kind of the thing she has got going on here. So I'm going to clean off that little brush I just used of the black stuff. And let's see. I'm going to use... I'm going to try Haul Over Nude as the color. I don't really know. Oops, this brush is too chubby. I need a skinnier one. Hang on. Here, this will work better. This one's by Eco Tools. It's very tiny. High quality stuff. All right, I'm going to try using this one called Haul Over Nude to do the liner, but it might not be bright enough, so I'll see. Actually, that looks pretty accurate. Hers is a little more metallically yellow, but that's not bad. I'll see if I have another color that I can layer it with to make it look right. Anyway, um, this is just for fun. My husband and I are hanging out at home today. This is my entertainment before we go veg out and have our early Christmas celebrations. Yeah, hang on, I've got another color in this other palette that'll help make this look how I want. Skincare. I use Korean skin peels. Stuff's amazing, dude. Um, it's the only thing I found that doesn't irritate my skin that makes everything look just like shiny, no acne. This is the Profusion Pro Pigment palette. And in here I have a color called Shimmy that is like bright gold. I'm going to tip this out so you can see. Yeah, I have ear tattoos. I have one behind each ear. Uh, left side is Alliance and right side is Horde from World of Warcraft. Alright, I'm going to lean over real close my Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Look at that sparkly ass nonsense. Okay. Now, she also has like gold eyeshadow on, but it's not as pronounced as the liner. Hold it up. Just again. So, I'm just gonna put on some like gold eyeshadow. Probably from that same Miami palette. Maybe? Nah, that's too bright. What I got over here? Yeah, this will work. So in the Profusion palette, there's a color called... What is it? Crackle? Which is sort of like a dark gold. I call them my butterfly. Had it for a long time. My skin is very pale. And my veins do not even want to be in there. Have I done cosplay for Warcraft? No, I would like to. Um, I recently sort. I'm gonna. That is too much, man. Just block. Um, I recently partnered up. Nope, none of that in here. Anyway, um, I partnered up with this dude called My Pet Monster Girl. And he does body paint. Yeah, that would be super fun. Um, I've got a couple of things scheduled with him. We're hoping to do like Widowmaker and some other stuff probably. I don't know what yet. It'll be posted on some of my channels somewhere. Um, but the, sorry, I was reading the comments and my brain spazzed out. Uh, yeah. Just put some gold eyeshadow on here. And if I could do like a full on like Sylvanas or Tyrande or something cosplay, that would be really bomb. Amon. 
I think. Okay. Now this girl has, I did my eyeshadow first so that it wouldn't get all over my face. This girl has like pretty flawless looking glowing skin. So I am going to put on some BB cream when I find it. Where did I put it? And I don't even know what I did with my own stuff. Where are you? Is it over there? Nope. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Um... This, sorry, this is extra entertaining commentary to me today. Um, Maybelline Dream BB Fresh Cream. I use this all the time. It's really great. Especially since all the other stuff I like got discontinued. I'm going to be super lazy and literally just like put it right on my face and then blend in. <laughs> Normally I squeeze this onto a palette, but I'm being super lazy today. Do, do, do. I would get so many more tattoos if I could afford them. I love tattoos. They rock. Okay, so I'm just blending this in with like a little, I don't even know what the heck this is called, stippling brush maybe? Stipple, stipple, stipple. ASMR. <laughs> Gotta get back on my YouTube channel. Uh. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so we'll just blend that in. Okay, all over. Very nice. So this girl is definitely not wearing any contouring, so we're going to skip that step. But it looks like she has some highlight on. So, where's my highlight here? There it is. This is Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blush Lighter. That is some sexist ass bullshit. You're blocked. Tattoos are for everyone. Don't listen to chumps. If you want tattoos, get tattoos. They don't even have to have meaning. You can get any old tattoo you feel like. Just get a good tattoo artist and take care of your art. If it looks pretty, it doesn't really matter. Exception being, obviously, don't put, like, you know, Maori symbols and shit all over if you are not Maori or et cetera, et cetera. Okay. You know. Honestly... The weirdest thing about my tattoos is before I quit my day job and did this full time, people at work recognized me because of my tattoos. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I've just rubbed highlighter all over my face. I don't know if this color has a particular name, but there you go. And the last thing I'm going to do with this mug of mine is put on some LA Color Nude Powder with an e.l.f. kabuki brush. It's gonna look really fun for a second until my camera adjusts. The tattoo behind my right ear is the horde symbol from World of Warcraft, and the tattoo behind my left ear is a lion for the alliance, but I designed that one myself because the regular alliance tattoo would not fit behind. Oh, it doesn't have to be special. It's a myth. You can do whatever you want to your body and your money. Just find good artists. Hello to Argentina. All right, there we go. If you're trying to say tattoos hurt, they sure do. The one on my back took nine hours and she is a gal. It was real ouchy. I don't have private tattoos. I have one on my arm, two on my head, and one on my back, which you can't really see right now because of my bra. I started with the lines too. I'm gonna put on some blush. But once they made Horde pretty with Blood Elves. Okay, that is Elf. This one's just called Always Cheeky, and I'm using a Moda blush brush, angle blush brush. <clears throat> okay. I have approximately replicated a lot of what is happening here. <laughs> Time for the lips. Yeah. Um, that was Bird's Feast Chapstick, in case you were curious. It's what I use, like, all the time. Okay, so this girl has really red lips, so we are going to use... What company is this by? I'm pretty sure this is Maybelline, even though it doesn't say. Yeah, there it is. Uh, this is Maybelline 645 Red Revival. 
Uh, it's pretty good. It was a cover-up, which makes it extra impressive, in my opinion. Um, I'll turn around in a second. <clears throat> it's spitting image is the phrase. But, yeah, it took three three-hour sessions. It's pretty good, but it is on my back, so over my spine healed a little weird because I couldn't not move for, like, a week, and it takes my tattoos a while to close up. So, probably I'll get that one touched up in a little bit. close. Hers was a little darker, but I don't think I have a darker red, unfortunately. She's got a little itty bit of gloss, so let's try this. Yes, everyone is special in that no one is special. There we go. That is... I don't even know. Bell and Argent lip gloss. I don't know what color it is, though. Nope, I do not share my WhatsApp number. Thank you. There we go. All right. And that only took me, what, like 20 minutes? I have no idea. So there it is. Can you see us both in frame at once? A easy practical easy as long as you already know how to draw winged eyeliner it's way easy it will be faster even than I did it um, Christmas look I'll probably do another one tomorrow that's a little more complicated uh, but I haven't decided yet so we'll see <sighs> goodbye everyone